Come with me as I take you through one full week of my training. Hello fellow geeks and welcome back to Running Geek Girl. My name is Heather and I am glad you are here today. Today I thought I would just take you through a typical week of training for me. I don't have any races coming up this month so I am trying to focus just more on uh, kind of maintaining everything and staying ready for the next time that I do have a race on my calendar which should be in mid-August. So we're going to be uh, just kind of looking at how I handle things when I am not, uh, you know, on a race week or taper or something like that, just a typical week of training. So yesterday was Sunday and that is my rest day. I usually do a little bit of yoga, a little bit of stretching, but pretty much just taking the day off. Um, it's not something that I used to do, but I've realized now just how important it is for me to do just a full day's rest. Of course, I do some other things on Sunday, um, like prepping my meals for the week just to make things as easy as possible for me throughout the rest of the week. So that's uh, that's my Sunday in a nutshell. But today is Monday and on my training plan for today, we have an easy one hour run with some strides at the end. So I'm just doing a nice brisk walk to warm up. Uh, then we'll go into the run, do our strides, cool down and then do just a little bit of uh, strength and conditioning work and then we're gonna call it a day. So let's finish off this nice warm up. Here we go. Okay, so now we're gonna go into a nice easy run. We're looking at uh, keeping it at around four RPE. So very easy, very conversational. For me, this is just a very light jog, keeping things as loose as possible. I always naturally speed up just a little bit as I get more into the run, but I uh, definitely try to keep it, um, for me, it's around a um, 11.30 to 12 minute mile. So like I said, super slow, super easy. Just getting my body ready for what we're gonna do over the course of the week. So here we go. done with the easy run went a little slower because I stopped to talk to a couple of people but forgot to pause my watch oh well we're about to go into four 20 second strides with a minute recovery in between and then we'll start our cool down here we go stride number one 186 feet in 20 seconds I'm pushing it to a an eight RPE according to my training plan. So three more to go. Stride number two, 165 feet. Two more to go. Stride number three, 158 feet. One more to go and then cool down. And stride number four, 171 feet. And we're gonna start our cool down now. So, so, not the speediest workout in the world, but today is an easy day. Just getting my body up and moving. Like I mentioned, I stopped a couple of times to talk to people. Once to the guy working on our lawn. And one of the kids down the street really wanted to show me his science project he worked on. So we did that and didn't stop my watch for either of those conversations. So, you know, no biggie. I still feel good. I feel ready for the week and uh, I am very very thankful that this morning is about 10 degrees cooler than it has been at this point for the last week or so so I'm gonna finish this and then take it inside for some strength and conditioning I'll see you there To change shirts, do a little bit of recording and editing, shower, and then do all the rest of the stuff I gotta get done today. See you guys tomorrow. And it is Tuesday, so this is a speed work day. I am just doing a 
little easy warm up right now. Then I have six repeats of half mile at tempo with a minute and a half recovery in between and then a nice cool down. Uh, these are the longest segments I've done on a tempo run for this training block. So uh, we'll see how this goes. First interval, let's get started. Interval one, done in 5.18. It's about a 10.30 pace. And with this heat and humidity, if I keep it under 11, I'm doing really well. Now to recover and do it again. Interval two. 503. Interval three. 503. Halfway done. Segment four. 511. Losing a little bit of steam. But two more to go. Segment five, five minutes even. Just gotta gut it out for one more segment. It is getting so warm out. But I can make it one more segment. Last segment, 503. I think it's time to cool down now. Let's talk a little bit. Whew. Thank you, Tailwind, uh, about how that workout went. Um, obviously, I'm very sweaty. It is super humid, which makes it so hard to breathe. But I was able to manage tempo pace. I can always figure out tempo pace by how hard I'm breathing as opposed to my easy pace and my hard pace. So that is definitely one thing that I've learned in the past few months is to listen to my breathing. And that tells me where my effort level is. But I'm honestly surprised with the paces that I got today considering how hot and humid it is. And I definitely think one thing that helped is that if I had to run three miles at tempo altogether, I could not have pulled off some of those paces. But just knowing that I had a minute and a half break coming up between each half mile segment definitely made it bearable. So it's all about chunking it in your mind which I try to do on a half marathon. So, just a little more uh, mindset work today. Just pushing through. And uh, again, not the fastest paces in the world, but for a hot and humid summer, it's not bad for me, considering how slow I typically am. That's enough for today. I'll catch you tomorrow. It is Wednesday, my dudes, and in addition to having an easy run today, I am testing out some uh, new stuff for a video, which I believe should be out by the time this video is out. So check up here and uh, see if I have linked to it. I should have if it's out by now. So uh, easy day today after yesterday's speed session. Uh, just one hour as easy as possible to give myself time to recover and then follow up with a strength workout. So let's get going. Okay, easy run done. I'm gonna take it inside for a little bit of upper body strength. Here we go. Okay, that is it for today. I have to do some more filming and editing. I'm actually doing footage for three videos all at the same time. So this has been a fun balancing act, but we'll be back with more tomorrow. Thursday, 
It is rainy and I am short on time. My training plan called for another speed session today, but I'm gonna have to move that to tomorrow because I have zero time on Thursdays. And in fact, the one hour easy run that I've moved to today, I'm probably gonna have to cut to sometime between 30 and 45 minutes just to make sure that I get something in, but still have time to shower and get on with everywhere else that I'm supposed to be today. But a little bit of something is better than nothing. So nice, easy run. Here we go. Okay, so short cool down. Ran at about about 11, 15 mile, uh, just trying to keep things easy, especially since I am just not feeling it today. I am so physically and mentally tired. My legs are heavy. I just feel like today was a struggle to get through even just a short, easy run. So taking the rest of the day off to just concentrate on everything else I need to get done. And we'll see how we feel tomorrow. And now it is Friday. So today we're gonna pick up the speed session that I was scheduled to do yesterday, but I had zero time for it. So I can actually focus and dedicate my time to getting the most that I can out of this. But we're going to be stepping things up a bit than we were from Tuesday. And that instead of breaking it up into segments, we're going to be doing two and a half miles at tempo pace all in one chunk. So I'm gonna have to really focus on how I pace myself, pay attention to uh, not going out too fast, which can definitely be a problem, and uh, trying to stay somewhat consistent during the entire run, which is gonna be hard because uh, I did have a lot to do this morning, so I'm getting out a little bit later than usual. It is already hot and it is incredibly humid. So just trying to breathe, I feel like I weigh a thousand pounds. <laughs> it's just all pressing down on me. But after we finish, our tempo segment, then we're going to be doing uh, four 30 second strides with about a minute recovery in between each one of those. And then we'll go into a cool down. So we're just gonna take it one step at a time, starting with our warm up. Here we go. That's fast. I feel good, you look great. I like you, I can't wait. A first time. All right, time to start our tempo section. Here we go. To my place, I feel my heart erase. So catch me if I fall. Okay, that was two and a half miles in 25.20. Average pace, according to Strava, of 9.57, which is Harder than I plan on pushing. And now I got five minutes to recover, and then I'm doing uh, four 30 second strides with a minute recovery in between. So let me bring my heart rate down just a little bit, and then we'll get started on those. Day that I would pray for you, I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice. Stride number one, 266 feet. Stride number two, 243 feet. I can't wait. Stride number three, 284 feet. One more stride to go, and then a cool down. Stride number four, 316 feet. Let's go into a cool down. Talk about how today's run went. Okay, so that was actually a little bit easier than I thought it'd be. I uh, tried to lock into what felt like a good pace for tempo and uh, yeah, just kind of zoned out and tried to get into a cruise control type mode. But uh, still went a little faster than I probably meant to. So overall, not too bad. Pretty happy with how it went. Uh, I. Uh, went into those strides with tired legs, but thankfully they were only 30 second strides, so totally doable. Now tomorrow is supposed to be the long run day, but my family has some stuff that they want to do, and honestly, 
family is more important. So I may just see if I can squeeze a one hour run instead of a two hour run tomorrow. And then spend the rest of the day with family. Cause I put in a solid effort this week. And I don't think missing a super long run is gonna be too bad. An hour ought to do it. So let's finish off this run and go inside for some upper body strength. Party race, so catch me if I fall. of today I have to go do a little more editing on my regular household stuff and then we'll see what I have time to do tomorrow I'll see you then it is Saturday and it is late afternoon which means it is the hottest part of the day it is 100 degrees out right now but uh, my family wanted to spend some time together this morning and lunchtime so that's what we did. That was the trade-off. Uh, so I'm spending the afternoon getting a one hour run in. I was scheduled for two hours. About an hour is all I'm gonna be able to do at this heat and humidity. And that's fine because I have pushed hard this week. I've pushed paces this week. I have uh, been really consistent with everything so I can afford to slack off just a little bit on this particular long run since I don't have a race coming up. If I had a race coming up, I would most likely concentrate a little harder on getting more time on feet, but I think just so long as I am up and moving today, then that's good. Again, because of the intense heat, I am doing a run walk. So uh, it is still gonna be tough. But we're about to go in for a run section. Here we go. There you go, that is a week of training for me when I do not have a race coming up. Now I've had a little bit of a shift in my mindset as far as training goes over the past maybe year or so where I used to just kind of throw in my week day runs and that was just a thing that I did and put all of my emphasis on my long runs on the weekends. But now I just kind of even it out. I do a lot of actual structured work during the week and see how that pays off on longer, easier runs on the weekend and kind of simulating a race scenario with my long runs. And with no races on the near horizon, I can afford to kind of cut these long runs short a little if I need to. So kind of works out in my favor at the moment. But anyway, that's how I'm approaching training over the course of a week, just a little example for you. I hope you found this fun or entertaining or interesting. Why don't you let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. You can just click that button down below. It doesn't cost you a thing and it keeps you up to date on all the running adventures I'm having all the time. You can also follow me on social media. All the links are down in the description. You can find me across all platforms under the name Running Geek Girl. Thanks so much for joining me. I'm so glad you could be here. Remember to laugh hard, run fast, and be kind. I'll see you later. Thank you.